research it means har! I've been doing some research, and that research tells me that it's time for pirate school number five! Har! That's right, we'll be back for some more schooling har! in the pirate kind. Har! All right, there I am. Here we go. Who can give me a big R? That's always a good way to start, isn't it? Right now, who knows? Their port from their starboard, right? Port from their starboard. Remember, your port's on this side, over here on your left. Your starboard's on this side on your right. Port's the side you put dock on. Starboard's your steering side, right? Right. Bow of the ship. That's the pointy bit at the end, right? The pointy end. Ah, and that's another pirate expression, the pointy end. That's where it comes from. Shipping. The pointy end is the front of the ship, right? And the back of the ship is the arft. Ah, we love the arft, don't we? The arft. Very good. Now, stand and laugh like a pirate. Ready? Oh, legs apart, that's good, that's good. Hands on hips, that's right, hands on hips. Very good, in the air, and laugh. Ha <laughs> ha Good job. Right, now, quickly to a question. People have been asking me, right? They've been saying to me, surely, surely, Captain, surely, Captain and Silly, you've got a secret knife hidden away somewhere there. You've got your cutlass and your pistol and your cannons, but do you have a knife? Well, I do have a secret knife, which I keep in a secret position, right? I have a well hidden, right? Oh, there it is. It's but it's a butter knife. <laughs> In case I have any emergency breakfasts, right? I've got a nice rounded edge there for putting on butter on things. And this side's a little bit serrated, right? So I can take cheese and stuff like that if I want to do it. So if I have any emergencies where I have to have some breakfast, this is there for me. Otherwise, I keep it stored in my special hiding place, all right? So I just put it away there. Oh, I didn't go in. Here we go. Put it away. Ah, that's it. In there, right? And it's ready whenever I need it, okay? So I just go there. There it is. Oh, and all right. And then you just stick it away. But I wouldn't try that at home, right? Because I got extra space in me uh, brain pan that you probably don't have because you're a smart little blinders. But me, I got lots of room and it all just goes in there like that. So that, that's what we're doing there. So if you got that secret knife, so okay. Give me an R. R. Good job. Right. Now, oh, we didn't do the other one. Are you ready? Give me an R. R. Give me another R. R. Put them together. Nice R. Good job. Right. So what are we doing now? We're learning the ropes. I'm going to show you the ropes. You know that expression? Show you the ropes. That's another one of the expressions that comes from shipping. All right. Showing you the ropes because look at the Beatrice here. Right. She's all ropes. We call it rigging. But there are ropes everywhere. Everything's controlled by ropes. We've got ropes all over the place. So we'll talk about the ropes, and we'll you know learn a few things to get you working on the way to be a good shipmate. All right. So. Have you heard the expression? There's another one of these expressions, right? Money for old rope. You know, that's an old expression too, your parents might know. Money for old rope, all right? Well, that is a true thing. They used to get money for old rope. So the sailors, they'd find little bits, ends of rope, they'd be chopped off things, and be lying around the deck and stuff. They'd get them, you tie them together, right? You tie them together to keep them for later. So like these three here, you see like three ropes here, tied together at each end, just so they don't get all tangled, right? So. You'd collect up all these bits of rope and you'd tie them together, all right? And then when you're in port, you'd go up to a shipbuilder, right? A shipbuilder. And you go up to a shipbuilder and you'd say to the shipbuilder, and you'd sell the shipbuilder these ropes, right? You'd just give them to him and he'd give you money. What the shipbuilder would do with that, with those ropes is he'd pull them all apart, right? All the little threads of rope. And he would use them for chalking. Now chalking, you see how the Beatrice is made of wood, right? It's made of planks going across there. So chalking is what they put in between the planks of wood to stop the water getting through. So they'd get a mallet, right, a wooden mallet, they'd bang in the bits of rope, and then they'd get pitch, which is the soft part of the road. It's like tar, right? It's like that pitch. And they'd coat it with pitch. And that's how they would keep the boats all from sinking and stuff like that. Okay? So that's why you called money for old rope. But we've been sailors, and, you know, we got booty and stuff like that, and it's a democracy, so we share it up easily, easy as pirates. So we don't really need the money for old rope, so we use other things. For so what I got here, and I'm going to show you a good trick with ro old rope, right? What this is, is an aft hitch, right? I'm going to do an aft hitch. Now, you being good sailors, you know what your aft is. Many people don't know their aft from their elbow, but <laughs> you've been learning and learning. So I do my little aft hitch, right? And what happens is, I'm tying up the rope together. Tying it up so it's all together, right? I got it all together like that, nice and tight. See? Then I got one bit of rope, right? You could use that. It's got these big knots there, but you know, you could use it. That's me aft hitch. And what else I got, right? What, what else I got is my old mate, pirate mate. He's an Indian pirate named Jardu, right? He got 
to me a little trick. He taught to me a little, little trick, right? And in that trick, right, what that trick is, is a way of turning this rope so you can use it even better, right? Even better. So what you do, okay, is you go, Arr! Avast there, you scurvy rope! Ha! <laughs> Hold fast now! Hold fast! All right, and then when you pull it apart, right? So you pull it apart, <gasps> all them knots is gone. And you got one bit of rope. Pretty good and pretty useful, ha <laughs> ha. Right, now I'm gonna teach you a few knots. So, first knot I'm gonna teach you is the slip knot. It's a nice, easy one to start with, right? So you make a loop, see that? Just a loop with the rope. Take that loop and go under and back into the hole again, right? Back into the hole, pull it shut, and that gives you a loop like that, see that? Now, if I put the other end of the rope, whoop, I dropped it. If I put the other end of the rope through there, like that, now this loop here is like a lasso, all right? And you can hold on to that and put things tight, you see? So it's a good thing for restraining things or if you want to tie the rope off easily, you just loop it over something that pulls tight and then it's gonna stick there like that, okay? And then you tie the other end off and wind around something like that, all right? So it's a good one to start with, a slip knot, right? Now, you remember the bow? You remember we were talking about the bow, right? Yep. Well, we also got bow lines, all right? Bow lines. What's a bow line? Well. On a boat, we don't call them ropes that much. We actually call them lines, mostly. Got lots of different names for ropes, because there's so many ropes, you need lots of different names for it, you know? It's like Eskimos got thousands of words for snow, apparently, you know? Pirates got millions of names for rope, all right? So lines is one of that. So this is a bow line, right? So the bow line is like a loop, hard loop, that you have on the front of the ship that just goes over the, the pier and the dock there. You just throw it over the top, that little loop, and it goes over there. So if you've rowed a jolly boat up, up, and there's a little pier there, and we want to loop it on the top, would have to have a bow line on the end of our rope. So, what you do, if you use your finger with this one, so you hold your finger up, you wrap it around your finger, and that'll give you a nice little circly loop there. See that circly loop? Can you see that? All right. Now, the bit of rope goes back through there, through the hole, then under the other bit of rope, and then back over, and then back through the hole, like that, right? Got it? You can see that, back like that, right? And you hold onto that bit there up with the circle and you pull the long end and that gives you a tidy little bow line, see? So if that was the pier, I could just hook it on there and it's not gonna go anywhere. So it's just there so you can get there and you, 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 know, the, you, like, you row up, you let it cruise in, you toss that over, boom, and it hangs on and the boat will just there and it'll rock around with the tide or whatever in the wind and that's a bow line. Good thing about these knots, right, for pirate knots and all that sort of seal knots, is they're really easy to undo. See that? Quick to undo. You gotta do that with your knots, right? They gotta be easy to undo. It's because the winds and things change really quickly. If you've got to sit there, you've done this real complicated knot and everything, and you can't undo it, you're gonna get really crazy with it. You know, it's gonna be, cause you all sorts of problems when they do that. So, that's why they're easy to undo, all right? I'll tell you a story in a minute. We'll do a reef knot, all right? So reef knot, is if you're tying two bits of rope together. See, two bits of rope together. This is the same bit of rope, of course, but I'm just using both ends as two different bits of rope. And if you wanted to make a circle, you could do that anyway, all right? So, left one over the right one into a cross like that, all right? Then it goes under and back over. And then the right one goes across again, so you got another little cross, and it goes back under and over. Then you've got this nice little square there, you see that? Some people call it a square knot. We call this a reef knot, all right? So we reef it closed, and there it is. Tight as tight, all right? That ain't going nowhere. That is a reef knot. Another good knot for a sailor, all right? And again, easy to undo. See that? Straight undone, it's gone. A reef knot, all right? So, now, next thing I'm gonna show you. Remember we talked we talk about that saying, belay that, you know, because of belay and pins, all right? Well, a belay and pin, right? Got the picture here. A belay end pin, and you can see it there on the end. Hopefully, you can make that out. Is this wooden device here, right? It's got a bigger, lumpy bit on the side and a tapered bit down the bottom, right? Because it goes in things called pin lines along there. You can see they just get put in these little holes, and then all the ropes 
from the sails get tied down on them and then the leftover rope is wrapped around it, right? Now that's, so that's how it works on the ship. It's like that, so it's along that way. So that's all over your ship, right? Now, to make it a bit more easy to understand, I've made, and I couldn't get my own belaying pin here at, at this time being, you know, in isolation and all. So I've used my trusty stick again, and I put a hole in here, actually I've got two holes, because I made that one too big, all right? But, and I've got this screwdriver, because it's sort of belaying pin shape, see? It goes in there, that's the pin line. So it just sits there like that, okay? Then, when the, the uh, rope comes down, Say, I'm gonna hold this with my teeth because my third hand got lost, all right? Okay, so it goes in under, and then you wrap it in a figure eight, all right? So it goes up, down, and you just figure eight it around. Figure eight, that's it. And you do that four times, all right? I'm not gonna do it four times because I haven't got enough rope to do the other bit then. And then you coil up the leftover bits of rope, that sits over the top of your belaying pin, like that. And then you just do a little hitch, which is just underneath, just to keep it secure. And that is how you tie off a belaying pin, all right? All right, when you say belay that, you know, it means hold on, hold on to that. Don't belay that motor, okay? Hold that older for a moment. All right, belaying pins also are useful because in the heat of battle, you know, we like to get things organized in the heat of battle. And uh, we need, a belaying pin, you know, because it's something we can use. So we can grab the whole of the belaying pin out of that and use it as a, something to clonk people over the head with. So it's a very useful device, a belaying pin. All right, now. Oh, I forgot my rope, I just threw it away. Do that, come back. The last knot I'm gonna have a go at, right, is your basic sailor's hitch, all right? So you tie, this is when you're tying something off to something, all right? So it goes over, like that, right? And it goes over the top and back over that way and then back under through, right? Just like that. That's your little hitch. You pull that and then it's tight as, see that? Tight as, tight as you can get, all right? No worries, that's perfect. Little hitch. That's all the knots you really need to know to start off with, right? They're all your basic knots. You can pretty much do most of the jobs with those simple knots. And again, you saw how easy that was to untie, right? Remember, I was gonna tell you the story. All right, the story is, if you, just to give you an example of it, right? You've been down the beach, right? When the southerly hit, all right? That's where you see the weather coming up from down there, all right? And you're all there having a good time, throwing the beach ball around, and wee hee hee, having a good time, having a good time, ah! And you're running around and all this sort of stuff. And suddenly you see a wave of cloud clutch and it's a really strong wind and all the sand goes sideways and everyone's chasing their balls and their umbrella and, and they're all going, oh no, what's going on? And they're packing up to get out of there really quick. That's the solidity, right? And that's how quick it happens. Just whoosh straight through, blows everything away. So if you're on the ship and your sails are the wrong place for the southerly, if it hits and starts tipping you over or twisting around or doing all sorts of things or blowing you towards rocks, you need to be able to release those knots real fast. And that's why those sailor knots are good to use because they're easy to do and they're quick to undo. All right, nice, all right. What's next? Give me an R, R, <laughs> good job. All right, now, next we're up to, we're gonna talk about the rigging. I can give you a bit of an example of the kind of things we call them. Like, remember I call, we call them lines, you know, that kind of thing, but we have different names for everything, you know, right? So let me have a think about what we've got. Okay, the stays, we'll talk about the stays, right? Now the stays actually go up to the mast, right? They're the big ropes to keep the mast in place, all right? You see them like that. They're called stays, pretty obvious, really. You want the mast to stay there, so you call them stays, all right? Yeah. And then sails need to be, some of these sails need to be raised, like these ones need to be raised, all right? To raise a sail, you need a halyard. That's the kind of rope you raise a sail, right? But these sails here, they store up there, so you need to lower them down. So what do we call them? We call them haul downers, all right? So they haul down the rope, the sail from there, all right? Pretty simple stuff. Other one we've got are the sheets. Now the sheets are used to trim the sails, right? So the jib here, that we, you know, the, you use that to trim the shield. So you pull them tight, right? So the way you trim the sails, trimming the sails is making them so they don't flat, right? And they're in the best possible position to catch as much wind as possible, right? So the way, if you're trimming the sails properly, they'll be nice and tight, but they'll be there catching the wind still. They'll be wide enough so they fill in with the wind, but tight at the back, right? So you don't want no flap on or all that kind of stuff like that. And you use the sails together, right? You, so you make one big 
surface that they're getting by using your sails in the right position. So the ones at the front are more pointed straight at the wind, right? And the ones at the back are more towards your direction, so they go a bit wider. So you get that sort of thing, and it pushes you along that way, and that makes them work a bit better. And that way, all the sails working together are better than if you had each one sail and just went, say, say for an example, right? Say this one gave us four knots, and this one gave us three knots, and this one gave us three knots, right? So it'd be 10 knots all together in speed because of the sails. But if we set them in the right place, that could be 15 or 20 knots because they're working well. They work better as a group than they do individually, right? And that's the skill of a sailor who's working out, and that's what you'll learn as we go along. So that's trimming the sails. But we have ropes for everything, you know? We got a bell we ring all the time, right? I was talking about that in another class as well, right? What's the, on the bottom of the bell? A bell rope. <laughs> what else do you call it? What do we call the ones that go to the ship, to the shore? They're called dock lines because they go down to the dock, right? You know? So it's all this kind of thing. You've even got a thing called a tiller. A tiller rope, right? So the tiller rope wraps around the tiller. That's the steering wheel, right? Oh, the thing back there. And it'll hold it still. It's like an automatic pilot. So if you wanted to keep going that one direction, you want to go and do something else, you can tie it off, the tiller off, so it just steers you straight and just follow that pattern. So that's what we do with the ropes, all right? Okay. Now, what do we got next? All right, I think we're going to do... I think I'm going to... We talked about trimming the sails and we've done all that sort of stuff. So I think it's time for us to do another shanty. Ha <laughs> ha, a shanty. Very good, very good. We love a good shanty. All right, this one is going to be a short haul shanty, right? What was a short haul shanty? Do you remember? You can say, aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain, that's right. Aye, aye, captain, if you remember. If you don't remember, slap yourself across the back of the head. You should remember. Short haul shanty, right? That's what we're doing short jobs, remember? Shanties are what keep us in time with our work, right? Short haul is like, if we were going to raise the jib there, right? It's only a little sail. We need a short one, right? So it's quick and short. So two jobs. So the way this one works is I say a line and you say the chorus lines and pull at the same time, all right? So I'll just show you through a little bit of it and we'll go from there. Ready? So it's shiver me timbers, shiver me soul. And then we go, you guys go together. Yo ho, heave ho, because you pull in the back, all right? And then I go, there's men out there with hearts as black as coal. She ho, she ho, you know. E ho, yo ho, heave ho, and that's it. So it's just that kind of yo ho, heave ho. So it's those four things as you're pulling out the sail. Okay, so we just do it. And you can imagine down there, that's where the little pulley is and everything. And that's where pull at that, and the sail's going up. And so it's a nice, fast thing we're going to do, right? Are you ready for that? Come on, stand and laugh like a pirate. <laughs> Good job, excellent. <laughs> right, now. Here we go. Are you ready? Getting ready to sing. One, two, three, right. Shiver me timbers, shiver me soul. Yo ho, heave ho. There are men out there with hearts as black as coal. Yo ho, heave ho. And they sailed across the ocean blue. Yo ho, heave ho. A bloodthirsty captain and a hot crew. Bow ho, heave ho. They sailed for adventure brave and bold. Yo ho, heave ho. They came home with treasure chests full of gold. Yo ho, heave ho. And the sail's up. What do you think? It's a good one. It tells a little story of us when we're going to go on a treasure hunt. I reckon the last lesson will teach you how to do a treasure hunt hard. That'd be good. Now, we're almost finished, right? One last thing to cover, and that is some people have been saying, why don't you tell some good pirate jokes? To which I say, oh, uh, have you ever heard a good pirate joke? No. Neither have I. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? Terrible. Right, well, I'm thinking my first mate, Wilson, right? Wilson, which is a good name with all this isolation, don't you think? Wilson is my first mate. And he's wanted to come and tell some jokes. So I'm going to let him have a go this time. And if it works out all right, we might do that at the end of each episode. He can tell a little pirate joke. And uh, you can see how it goes, all right? But I'll just go get Wilson over here, right? So Wilson's my first mate. He's been with me for oh, a number of years now. A number of years now, Wilson. All right. OK, Wilson, tell us your joke. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here's me joke. Right. What is short R, orange R, and sounds like a parrot? R. I don't know. What is short orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot! Arr, 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 arr. Oh, get out of it! Get out of it, you stupid! Oh, get out! Back in your 
Right. Sorry about that. Wilson gets carried away sometimes and I've got to give him a clip around the back of the hole just to get him back in line. Oh, crazy, crazy parrot. <laughs> Me? Huh. This is why I need a new crew. All right. Okay. Are you ready? That be the end of the class, all right? So, to get him to be quiet, I'm going to pipe us all down for the end of the shift, all right? So, the end of the shift, it's the end of the shift right now, all right? End of our watch. So, I'm going to say goodbye to you all, my little shipmates, and I'll see you next week for some more Pirate in School. Arr. <whistles> oh, there's there! <laughs> I'll be seeing you, Pirate mates! Arr, did you?